Hello friends, welcome back to a new episode of the Cheesiest Man Alive. I'm your boy Harstam, the Cheesiest Man Alive himself. And today we are we are realizing something, okay? I realize something, you know? We are currently living in the good old days. And it's time to truly start enjoying it. Because the widow mine is about to be nerfed off the uh, off the face of the earth, or at least a little bit of the face of the it will still be there but large portions will be you know significantly worse so i decided you know we haven't actually done a lot of widow mine cheeses and i feel like the time is here for us to do a couple of neat little widow mine cheeses so we're starting here with a uh, a barracks at home against a protoss player and we're gonna send this factory in the middle of the map i hope he doesn't see the fact that i have a marine as my first unit it's actually kind of important. Not I wonder if he, he noticed that I wasn't building anything here or not. I'm not actually sure if he noticed. I never really trust Protoss players to notice things. Although the opponent I have right now is a 5.7 or 5.6k toss. Pretty decent. Sebast Des, uh, a player from the Czech Republic. Very, very powerful player, actually. So when I, one of the few Protoss players at this level that I truly do respect. Um, but we're going to, I mean... Even if I respect you, doesn't mean I'm not gonna cheese you. You know, that, that's, that's not how this works here. It's absolutely not how it works. So, just gonna put the starboard over here. I'm not sure what my follow-up is going to be. I could just go for a, a Thor all in, couldn't I? I could actually just go for a Thor all in. Something I haven't done in a while. Actually, I haven't done this in a very long time when it comes to this specific setup either. Right? That's the last time I've done a Thor, a Thor all in where I proxied everything. I, I can't quite remember it. We're gonna maybe use a neat little trick as well. Oh, we're gonna use such a neat little trick. Do we need to do that? No, we don't. Never mind. We're not gonna use any tricks. I was. Oh, I'm gonna be supply block. That is also a neat little trick. Um, so I have to cancel some units. It's not quite as uh, as cool as I I wish it was. Just gonna drop this one on one of them depots, just to make sure that everything in life's okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, that wasn't brilliant. That really wasn't brilliant. Oh, I apologize. This is this build is not going as well as I wanted to, but. Either way, we're going to have a good time here. Either way, we're going to have a good time here. And I'm just going to continue building more marines. And then this thing is about to pop, I think. Zoop. There you go, good sir. I wonder how hard I'm going to hit here. I, I really have no clue how, how sick this is. I'll get a liberator as well. I'm not sure if I can actually afford that. Doesn't look like you have a robotics facility done. Does it now, buddy? Can definitely not afford that. So I'm gonna get two shots in here for sure. Let's see if I can uh, retarget a little bit at least. Oh, no, I can't. Um, well, I could have. I just didn't. I guess that's a better way of putting it. How long does that tour take? It takes a long time. I think it's about to finish as well. Should we just start moving out already? Is that the the way of the world here? We just start moving out, and then the Thor will join us midway through. Is that a good plan? Oh, gonna hit that. Gonna hit that. So it's obvious to me that he's about to have some uh, some observer here. Right? Come on, buddy. Come on! Okay. Thor goes in. Liberator goes in over here. He's gonna send this back in as well. It's important. Because then he might... I mean, he's just gonna absolutely lose this game right now. He's just gonna absolutely lose this game. There's, there's no, there's no alternative ending here. That's it. Like he's just gonna lose the game right now. He's just absolutely gonna lose the game. I'm gonna have to move these back just a tiny bit. Because I don't want him to actually focus on my marines. One of the most important things in life is to make sure that they don't focus on the marines when you're playing this particular build. Okay. I got a couple more SCVs. Maybe I shoot actually. So we still have this thing going up as well. And we have another uh, we have another harassment unit as well coming in. I haven't really been building anything from here. GG. That's it. That's all you need to do, my dear friends. Did get a GG. Let's take a look at our MMR game. Real fast and straight hop into our next game. Look at that. 5606 was my opponent. I got 27 points. We're almost at 5-5. Almost at five, five. And we'll go into our next one. Up next here we got Young Yakov. Um, a 6.3k Zerg player, so that's going to be fairly difficult for me. And as against Zerg, I can't really do any Widowmind stuff. I figured, you know, we focus 
on another unit that soon will not quite be the same and that's of course going to be the cyclone cyclone also is going to get a nerf in the early game and probably is going to be somewhat buffed in the later stages of the game so uh, let's just use it the way it's supposed to be used right now by proxying a factory killing my opponent with cyclones as as quickly as we can or at least that's how i believe it should be used right now so I'm just going to double gas low ground wall this allows me to well I'm not sure what it allows me to do, but uh, maybe to deny a little bit of scouting more, which would obviously be very helpful. I'm just gonna send this proxy over here. Or this SCV over there to start a proxy at some point in the near future. What else do I want, actually? What else do I want? I want more gas, and I'm gonna start with a marine. So just marine into factory at home. That's gonna all be very quick. Not so worried about that at all. I wonder how fast the factory can be that I build at home, actually. Or maybe I should first proxy my factory. Not enough minerals. What if I first proxy my factory? Because that feels correct. It might feel correct to my opponent as well, you know? When it comes to the factories, I mean, I might believe there's something behind here. Which they're obviously, like, we know it isn't. We know that isn't the case. There's nothing behind here. Of course, my opponent doesn't know that. So it's actually a full wall. That's really neat. That's actually very neat for me. That's actually extremely neat for me. We're just going to move this back. I'm deadly afraid of him throwing some garbage at my face in the near future. This is about to finish up. We're going to start a reactor there the moment we have time, money, resources, all of that good jazz. I don't think you can see the lack of a CC, which is kind of a big deal. And these timings feel almost natural. So unless there's a second Overlord or Lynx moving around the map, I think he's actually not going to figure out quite what I'm doing, which good for me huh? need to get a reactor not sure where i put a thumbs up in the middle of me having to build a reactor if i get the if i get this w by the way that's gonna be so many points oh i can already smell the points oh i can already smell the points my dear friends hello where are we going oh this is beautiful this is actually beautiful this is actually beautiful and now we're gonna build some unity i'm supply block actually losing that worker might unsupply block me which is brilliant holy crap that was great that was actually the best case scenario losing that worker freaking love myself sometimes okay so these first two cyclones are about to pop out then we're gonna use this barracks to fly on over as well um see if we can catch that overlord i think i can i think i most definitely think i can where are you buddy hello oh he ain't here that's not nice, is it now? That actually isn't nice at all. I wonder if he's gonna be there or not. I bet he's here. I think he went to the side, and I'm just scouting with my with my barracks for nothing. Oh dang it! Oh dang it! I think we might have messed this up. I probably should have sent out some workers with this as well, a little bit faster. Oh well, it is what it is. Okay, we have a lot of production here. We have a lot of units in production, actually. Actually, a lot of units in production. Let's pull out a gas just a tiny tad. Make sure that we can afford everything. Okay, he's moving in. Okay, good, good initial fight, I think. Yes, I lost a couple of... Uh, I, I lost one Cyclone, but he lost so many units there, no? He lost so many units there. So let's see if I can kill this thing. I can kill that thing, that's for sure. Okay. And now... Oh, hello. How about we continue sending these in as well? This feels good. This feels really good. Ah, eh, this feels okay, maybe. This feels decent enough. This feels decent enough. This feel de feels decent enough. Ah, uh, he's using links to pick up units from the back. Yeah. You notice that this is a higher level player than I'm fighting against, you know? Because he knows exactly what it is. This was honestly not that far off, though. Like... He went relatively high on the work count, 28. Yeah, I did have a lot of units left over. And double spines as well, still there. I mean, he was out of cash. Maybe if I had... Yeah, it's hard to say. Maybe if I would have denied this scout a bit better, had like cyclones on the side, maybe I could have done it. But not like this. I mean, he's he's legit like 1k MMR above me when I play this race. So we don't count this as a loss. Yeah, well done, buddy. Four points. I hope you're happy with it. Well, we're now on side Delta, which is frustrating because side Delta genuinely is the worst map for any type of cyclone push because there's a ramp um so i my i mean my hand is forced here 
Uh, I just, just need the two racks. There's really nothing else that I can do. No, that's not true, actually. Uh, that's not true. There's another thing. We're going to send a third as we, we can three racks. <laughs> there's, there's always one more racks you can build. Ah, we can make it for now. Nah. Should we? Nah, nah, we're going to do three racks. We're going to do three racks. Proper proper three racks. That's what we're going to do here, okay? None of that, none of that garbage. We're going to just do proper three racksing. Um, a little bit far off, maybe. This is, I mean, almost uh, like a 10 second walk or so. That's actually pretty far. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm feeling this. It, ramped map. I'm not sure how good 3 Rex is on ramped maps. I also feel like a lot of Zerg players nowadays just play the, 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 the what is it, the 15 pool into 15 hatch, or 15 hatch into 15 pool crap, which is really quite good against 3 Rex because you have fast queens, you have quicker links as well. And, uh, it just overall it sucks pretty hard for me so uh yeah let, let's see if we're still going to be capable of, of getting a, a cheeky little win over here or it's going to be harder i i feel like the fact that it's a ramped map makes it yeah it might actually be an advantage for me because my opponent might believe that i won't three racks as a result you know this is like oh it's a ramp no need to play safe here and then they have to play safe after all because i'm gonna kill them that would be the worst case scenario for them of course Let's see if we can just move in here, have a little blast. I think we can actually move in there and have a little blast. I love having a little blast. Nothing that I enjoy more than having a little blast. Oh, where are we at? There you go, buddy. There we go. So that's a, a hatch first, if I've ever seen one. I should have probably just gone for the, the triple bunker one, no? Is. <laughs> this is what Clem has been doing, except with two racks. <laughs> You're just building three bunkers. I don't know why, but it makes me so happy when I see stuff like that. Yeah, maybe I should have done that. So far, so good, though. So far, so somewhat okay. Go in. Thank you, good sir. Um... <clears throat> Am I gonna finish that thing or no? Yeah, uh, maybe just get a CC on the low ground or what? Maybe just get a CC on the low ground? Maybe just get a CC on the low ground? He just keeps attacking that thing, huh? I probably should have done this a bit quicker. I probably should have done that a bit quicker. I probably should have done that a whole lot quicker. Okay, but now we still have a playable, somewhat playable position, huh? Can I kill this? Like, if I can kill this hatch, I'm still absolutely fine. Oh, that dies. I probably should have built these in much quicker to the gases. But then again, that sounds like I would have needed some foresight. Do we just continue building marines here, or what's the play? I think I just continue building marines. I mean, I'm up a base. All I need to do, the most important thing for me is gathering gas right now. We're still going to build cyclones behind this, obviously. I wonder if he has a creep tumor here or not. Is that speed that I see there? Can I fly these forward or no? That is actually a serious question that I have right now. Should I be flying them forward? I mean, I can fly them forward, but then I lose production, which might also suck by itself. Okay, CC is done. So technically we could be going home. The question is, should I be wanting to go home? I have so many questions. Let's try to go home, actually. And you also go home. You come with me, buddy. You come with me. You absolutely come with me. You're gonna go for a scout. Oh, my factory is late, despite me saying the most important thing right now is gas and the factory timing. Um. So these two are gonna drop over here. And then, what do we want here? Like maybe an eBay or some sort? Oh, he actually can't do anything. This is bad for him, isn't it? Ooh, that's real bad. Come on, buddy. Okay, so he's going one of these. That's interesting. He's gonna just lose all of these work, uh, all of these links. No, yeah, that much is obvious to me. Yeah, what, 
Well, did he really think that was gonna work? No way, he thought that was gonna work. Are we playing mech behind this? He doesn't really have anything. Does he have no gas? No, right, he got... Never mind. I'm not sure why I speak sometimes. Of course he's gonna have gas. Because, you know, I, I saw him... <laughs> I saw him have speed. So I knew it was gonna be gas. I, just, I, I knew for a fact. It couldn't be anything else. Um, so we're playing mech here. I think that is really obvious as well. We're gonna go for a two-base mech all in. I haven't done one of these in a little while. Is he still there? Yeah, he is. You can actually bust him open here. Bust open his head. Bust open his head. That thing's dead. Um, I'm not sure what I actually wanted with this starport. Maybe I just want to go for an 8 marine drop. So just build a medevac. This feels like it's going to go horribly wrong, honestly. Like The way that I'm setting this up, I can feel it going horribly wrong. Sometimes in life you can just feel that. This thing's also dead, by the way, which feels brilliant. Just phenomenal stuff, really. Um, you go to the bottom side. Ooh, tech lab? Yes, sir. Oh, I could also go for a double cyclone drop. What is better, eight marines or double cyclone? I feel like double cyclone is better. Okay, he knows it's mech right now. The funny thing is I wanted to do a two base all in, but I'm floating so much money that I'm just building a third behind it. That wasn't really my intention, though. Yeah, well, that wasn't my intention at all, actually. That was a lot of things, but not my intention. Let's see if we can move out on the map. I feel like he doesn't have any units, and he's not respecting me right now. Put some respect on my name, son. That's important to me. Okay, so that's going to get a W out there. Can I fight this just into the queens or what? This went well. Are we winning this? Oh, we lost the... Uh, this went horrible. Like, holy crap, this went horrible. Like, actually just terrible all around. I need more factories as well, I just realized. I also need more CCs. I just have too much... I have too much, too many minerals. Not a, I have too much cash. Not enough of the other stuff. Hello? Marines have to go down. I just want tanks. I, I really just want tanks. It's the only thing I care about. And more lips. That's really what I want in life. More lips and tanks. Can I force you see as well? I mean, right now. Oh, yeah. I forgot the micro there for a little bit. It happens to the best, buddy. It happens to the best, absolutely. Okay, we're going to create a wall here where I build a depot in as well. That feels like it would be correct. Should we just move across the map right now? I'm not sure if that is correct. I want a reactor on this. You guys go here. Build some of this crap. Oh, I accidentally put the wrong one in the control group. A little bit of harassment as well. Okay, yeah, this feels good. Just leave this at home to deal with any potential threats. Or do we just set a tank up here? Maybe both. Maybe just both. You know what? This feels fine. This, I'm, I'm okay with this. Let's see if we can move through the middle of the map and just win the game straight up. I feel like my early game was so good that despite all my failures of the... Whatever this phase of the game is, I still feel like I'm pretty okay. I still feel like I'm pretty okay, but I could be wrong, of course. Oh, he doesn't even have a freaking lair yet. Am I still... Yep, I'm still winning this part. I'm definitely still winning that part. Okay, now we can just move these tanks in position to start shooting the rest of his crap. Here comes the... Whatever that is. The harassment. Yeah, I'll just send this uh, Liberator up at home as well. Ain't this gonna be a free win, though? I was afraid of Mudas, honestly, you know that? I was really afraid of Mudas, and then not just now I realize that his lair just finished up. So it's literally impossible for this to be Mudas. He's also getting really frustrated by the fact that he's losing to someone who's as brain dead as I am. Like, I can just feel it. Like, he's staying in and he's down, like, legit 60, 70, 80 supply. Has Lynx versus a pure mech army that's basically maxed out. He's like, 
this this shows pure disrespect. You can feel that my opponent has no respect for me. That's fine because I also have no respect for myself. GG. Oh, I do respect that though. A GG here. That is uh, that is worthy of respect. Good episode. Good episode. Two wins against players better than me. One loss against the player significantly better than me. Overall, we hit the 5.5k. Um, and GG's all around as well. It, it really is uh, funny to me how much more mannered the ladder becomes the higher you get. People don't know this, but at the highest level, basically everyone always GG's. I honestly can't remember playing a serious game and not getting a GG. There's like no one that doesn't GG. And you notice it here as well. The better I get, the more GG's I get. So yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, not forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. See all of you next time for a new video. Thank you so much for watching. And bye-bye.